this was made in, in in 48 hours for the Asylum Jam. And really well done. And now we're going to play once more just so we can do it a completely different way and see what changes. Usually I tend to only play a game once and then it's like, move on. But this one I think deserves it. Like, it's very short. And quite... Quite interesting. I like it. Strangely, a pine rate joining them. He leads or claims his group never knew. Well, I don't really feel like reading those, to be honest. That's... Oh, shit, what is this? Tower 4, this is Tower 2. Now we're on the radio check. Over. You there, buddy? Come in, Tower 4. Do you Okay, let's do our job. We'll be a good boy. Good to hear, Tower 4. Kicking off for the night. Park's all yours. Over. Excellent, I'm gonna start lighting fireworks. Where are my fireworks? He's gonna... Fucking light bunch of Roman candles and shit. Pew 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 pew. Remember, kids, only you can start forest fires. Please note, I am not a role model. You should not do as I say, Hello? nor as I do ever. Hello? Is anyone there? Copy this is Fire Tower 4. Over. I Okay. I'm totally on it. Okay. Um. First off, what the hell is chasing you? I don't know. Something started chasing me, so I started running. You have to help me. I'm going to die out here. Not if I'm on a case. I'll turn the flight lights on. Over. I'm going to be the best. Fire park ranger guy ever. As soon as I remember how. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. I <laughs> like we're having a rave here at Tower 4. I, I advise you to come and join us. Bring glow sticks and a gas mask. Probably over there. This is Park Ranger Necrosis. I'm gonna need you to shut the fuck up. And I'm trying to party. Here, maybe it'll help him if I reignite the light. The sound, the power behind that switch sound is very satisfying. I'm at some kind of break in the road. It says I'm leaving the Carnation Rock Trail. Uh-huh. What should I do? I think you should probably mark your territory. Take the... Take the left path. Which is still the same path, I guess, but... But it'll be like... Here, go there. So you should be going this way. We're over here. So I presume you'll hit another dingy majiggy. Do, 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 do. Just follow the lights. Like, forget, forget the trail. Just take a straight line. No, you. Yeah, I'm safe up here. Okay, I'm running. <laughs> Don't know what's going on, but... 
really know where to run. I mean, there's barrels everywhere. Blah. Is that gonna help you? Wherever you are? I know the first playthrough, we saw like him and his flashlights out there somewhere. Keep on the path, you butthole. No, Do what I say. Did you hear that? No, I didn't. Did you that? No, I didn't. Just do what I tell you to. Or I'm gonna fucking sniper you. Oh, you suck. I told you to stay on the trail, you... Okay, what do you see? I'm guessing he's probably out here somewhere. Um, there's bears over there, so maybe we should have him go back towards the mining tunnel? No, not, no, not towards the lake. Go towards the mine. Bring beer and hookers or something, because you owe me big for helping you, dude. Are you watching the lake? No. Yes. That screaming is just to hookers. They're negotiating prices. I'll give you five dollars. Uh, no. Do you want to level with me? What? Is this your idea of prank? What? Because, yeah, I get it. Ha uh, ha, let's all have a good laugh at the lost guy. What? But... I'm trying to help you. Okay. That's not... Sorry. Good. Good. That's... Tell me when you're at the mine, and you'll be back on the path, and then you just follow the path. Totally. I'm totally going to save him. Can't use the radio right now. I'm all up in this saving you. It's my job. That's what they pay me for. Actually, they don't pay me. They'd be pretty sweet. But then again, I'm not really to be trusted with people's lives, so... Okay, so the fork in the road, he's right there. He just needs to not go left. Keep on the path. Hey. You, uh... Get a feeling that, uh, somebody's watching you. No. We sent him this way. Quit your paranoia, bitchin'. Ma'am, you're breaking up. I'm gonna need you to... Chasing me? I'm stationary. Why would you be chasing me? That sounds like a bear. It's probably a tree. Hello. I'm the Cursus. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, I had a good run. Over and out. Bury me with all my shit. Oh. Oh! What? Another hiker lost in Gracewind Park. Tragedy has once again struck in Gracewind Park as another visitor has gone missing. The Grace Wind Park Service has issued an officer critical, an, sorry, an official statement claiming that the individual in question was the victim of a bear attack and that some of his personal effects were collected in Grace Wind Lake Pass. The 
park ranger on duty that night, however, claims that there is more to the story. In an exclusive interview, they claim there was some kind of monster imitating the lost man's voice over the radio. And while that may sound unbelievable to some of you out, out there, we here at the Midnight Star are no strange bizarre stories. Y2K bug to unlock Area 51 vault. Oh, no, no. Okay, so that ending was kind of weird. Like, it just kind of ended. Like, we were guiding him towards us. He's like, you're going to die. And then nothing happened and kind of went roll credits. Apparently, the monster can imitate the dude's voice. I have another bad idea, but I want to... Like, I want to try one more run. And I want to see what happens if we do nothing. In other words, we don't go on the radio. We don't turn on the headlights. We don't do shit. And see what happens. And after that, that'll be it for that. But anyways. You think nothing will happen? I don't know. I mean, the last two, we did something. One, I guided the guy away from me towards the other empty tower. We'll call that the good end. How do I exit it? There we go. The second one, we were basically guiding him to us. And then the game decided, no, nope, game over. This time, I want to do absolutely nothing. And see what happens. Like, we're not even going to report for our hourly check-in and see what happens. It's really rare for a game to be, like, especially one that's this short, to be that interesting. There's the other tower, I didn't even notice it before. So that's that tower two right over there. Is tower two over there. But I'm curious what happens if we do nothing. Like, we are not even going to check in for, for duty or nothing. It's just a goat man gonna goat man me up. Like, I wonder if that ending we got last as if the monster had come up here or something, but. Hourly radio check. You there? Over. Hourly radio check my ass. I must have missed that day during orientation where I'm required to report in. Sorry, can't hear you. Too much static. You must be breaking up. Must be the goat man. I'm the curses. Just enjoying the breezy... Um... Forest. busy not giving a fuck. Over. I'm almost tempted to turn the light on because my understand, like, my interpretation is like he should be able to see a light signal. Be like, okay, I guess your radio don't. Okay, I think it's just gonna keep repeating that. In other words, I don't think the game starts. Yeah, I copy. Yes, shut up. Great. This would be a hell of a fucking job, too. Like, the whole park ranger th thing. Because, I mean, you're essentially all alone in the middle of a forest. Usually there's wild animals and things, and... Hello? 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 Is anyone there? No. Nobody's here. We're closed. Come back in the morning. I'm sure half their problems are always going to be like teenagers sneaking in with like beer and shit as opposed to like monster sightings or stuff but like 
I'm sure the internet versus like the internet quality out in the middle of a forest would suck. Like maybe that's a stupid teenager that's coming in. Like, how does he even have access to my radio in the first place? Like if this guy broke into the forest or snuck into the forest or the park or whatever you want to call it. How exactly did he gain access to my radio communication system? I wonder if I need to just say nothing. I, I, I saw this channel listed over the trail down here. I need you to help me. Oh. Something. I lost and something is chasing me. Please, you have to help me. I didn't say anything though. How's he? How, how does? How did he communicate? To, like, Like we're not touching that again. We're just gonna enjoy this view. It's not very cyberpunk. Like I'm noticing, like, because this, you know, you got this little balcony thing here. So you have, let's say, the little office. You got a bed and everything you might need there. Oh, there's a door here. I see. Because I was gonna say, like, you got the balcony out here, floodlights, but you got walled in set of barrels on one side and then you have the other side also barricaded up with more barrels like how did you even get up here but chances are it's because of this through this door but like what happens if there was like a little accident up here like something collapsed night and you don't have access to over there and night you fucking barricaded yourself here and you're fucking stuck. Hmm. Nothing's happening. The other tower's lights are off. I'm guessing the park must have a really bad budget. If they're not willing to have two fucking park towers running at night. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but anytime you have, like, security or any kind of situation where safety may be involved. Even if you're exploring, like, abandoned buildings or mines or tunnels, whatever. Like, it always makes sense to have two people always because basically if something happens to me right now there's no hourly radio check I mean they have a specific hourly radio check policy right there do I have to res maybe nothing happens if I don't respond but like you always want a second person because if something happens even if you fall and break your fucking leg or something the other person can do something about it. If you're 100% alone, no one's gonna know. I don't know if I have no choice but to respond, so we'll take totally different responses. What do you mean, what's chasing you? I, I don't know. Something started chasing me, so I started running. You have to help me. I'm going to mm, die out here. Yes, you are. But it's okay. Your life is worth nothing, so... Don't even worry about it. Nothing of value is going to be lost. I have no choice but to turn the flight lights on, do I? All right, I thought the game basically was on a timer or something along those lines, but it may not be. I do can. Thank me. The game's making me help you. I don't want to help you. I didn't want to do nothing. I just wanted to play video games. But Look, this I, guy doesn't even have a TV up I here. Oh, you're gonna get a good run. Whatever you do, 
Yeah, what is it that I do? Sit here and fap? And apparently drink? I mean, you got beer here. You got beer. You got beer all over the fucking thing. I mean, he's even putting his beer on top of the communication equipment. Tell him to go right. I haven't done that. Go that way. I if we'll be able to see him. I mean, you said he was out here to camp and stuff. Why don't you light a fire and just pitch a tent? Let the soothing noises of the wild ma monsters and animals... Put you gently to sleep. We call it ambiance. One mistake. You're a mistake. Talking to you was a mistake. Oh, see that? You can see eyes right there. It is nice and creepy, for the most part. One mistake I can do better than that, I can do two. As soon as I know... what counts as a mistake. <laughs> Here comes us. I think the ominous music means we did well. Busy listening to my iPod. Um, just don't worry about it. No, 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 yes, yes, yes. No. It's a fucking tree, man. I told you the first time. take a photograph of the monster so that I can, you know, put it up on the internet and then people will totally believe me. I think I see a lake and mm -hmm. a cave, a mine, something like that. Go to the lake, bitch. Bring a swimsuit. I haven't even told him to do that before, so... Bring money. Honestly, I'm thinking I should have stopped at the second playthrough. Third playthrough, kind of. Yeah, I say monsters. Did you walk in on a girl skinny dipping? Because I can hear her screaming. So we sent him to the lake this time. Maybe a barrel will eat him. That'll be... That'll be fantastic. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Definitely heard something.
This is Tower 2. I'm I'm heading home early today. Over. On the trail, I should take you to the tower or turn off, take the secondary trail a bit further ahead. I'm going to tell him this one because I think that's where the bears are. Because if he's coming in. If he's. If he's coming in this way. Not this way, but this way because we got bears. Hello? Hello? No? Yes? Hey, were these trees all rustly before? Did I... Do I what? I don't see... No. Hello? I don't see anything, no. Copy that. Bring money. Oh. Is that... Okay, so that was another ending, apparently. Huh. Missing. Another hitchhiker... Or no. Another hiker lost in Gracewood Park. Tragedy is once again struck in the Gracewood Park as another visitor goes missing. Gracewood Park services have issued an official... Wait, this is the same as the other one, isn't it? The park ranger on duty at night... That night claims there's more to the story... In an exclusive interview, they claimed there was some kind of monster imitating the lost man's voice over the radio, and while that may sound unbelievable to some of them, I think that's something similar to the first ending we got. And it looks like each ending kind of stacks on or something. Like I could see one, two, three, probably four and five, so there must be five endings. Hey, but that's good enough for me as far as this game goes. Um, for something made in two days. Hey, welcome to my army. <laughs> this was, this was a really good experience. This was a really good indie game. The fact that I even wanted to play it three times attests to that. So that was, do you copy? <laughs> 